Do you have F and Ink on your shelves? Do you need a mixing system? Well, F and Ink is now officially a mixing system. Matching PMS colors is just a click away with the new FN mixing system. If you have clients asking for specific Pantone color matches, you will need a mixing system. To learn more about the basics of Pantones and Pantone matching systems, check out this video here before going any further. So now that we are all caught up on what Pantones are, let's jump into the mixing system. We're going to mix one of the most commonly requested colors, PMS 186C Red. Let's go to the FN mixing site and pull up the color. Go to the drop-down menu and type in 186. Today we're going to mix up 500 grams of Pantone 186. And now we're going to click Load Formula. As you can see, the FN lightning bolt over here references the color you'll be mixing up. It will change to whichever color you choose. For this, we will need four colors. As the FN mixing system shows, we'll need bright red, fuchsia, orange, and mixing white. We'll also need a mixing container, a spatula, and a scale. We have a container to mix the Pantone color into. So I'm gonna place it on the scale and zero it out before we start measuring the inks. Use whichever scale you prefer. We recommend starting with the color that has the highest volume in the formula. We'll show you why in a minute. For 186, this is bright red. We need 319.68 grams. So I'm going to take a spatula, dip it into the ink and measure bright red to the exact amount required. You might have noticed that my scale measures to a hundredth of a gram. If you're using a smaller scale, measuring to the hundredth of a gram might not be an option. Round up or down, and remember that there might be a little color shift. Now that we have our weight in here, we're gonna hit zero. Get that back to normal. Our next largest volume of color that we're gonna put in is orange, 86.16 grams. I'm gonna put this in the corner of the container so we don't end up grabbing some of the red that's right next to it. This is why having it on the side or on the side of the container is a good thing. When we're dealing with larger volumes of ink, getting to the exact 100th of a gram is rarely necessary, only with very specific colors, primarily pastels. So being very close like this is gonna be just fine. The next color is fuchsia. I'm gonna to need to add 69.21 grams. One of the tricks of adding ink is to have these little streams of ink hanging off of your spatula. So it's easy to add a tiny sliver of ink. All right, we're on to our last color, the mixing white. Now, well, gotta to remember to zero that out. All right, all color is done. Now that we've got all our colors in the cup, it's time to mix. Take your clean spatula and scrape all the ink into the middle of the cup. You'll want to mix from the bottom up so the ink at the bottom of the cup mixes in with the rest of the colors. The reason we added the largest volume first is because it leaves a little bit of color at the bottom of the container. Losing a little bit of the red isn't such a big deal because there was so much of it. Before we get to printing, let's talk about color matching. Color accuracy depends on your lighting. When using different light sources, you will see the color differently. You want to make sure to address those concerns before printing your order. There is a page in the back of your Pantone book. It helps gauge the quality of your light source for color matching. If the light you're using is in the D50 range, the color you mixed in the PMS color will be the same. Depending on your lighting, some colors can shift more drastically than others. That's why it's important to always test with the correct lighting. When confirming color matches, the inks are printed through a 156 mesh screen. We'll print the color onto white fabric and cure it. We do this as some color shift can happen when printed and we confirm color when cured. Now you are able to start production. Mixing systems help printers match the exact color demands of their customers. With the FN mixing system, you can use the ink you already have on your shelves to create Pantone colors. It really is that simple. Bring your art to life.